HD Zero, the biggest up and coming company in FPV drone to the biggest drone event of the year, the MultiGP International Open. Carl, the owner, Ryan, the lead tester, and Neukel, the main team pilot, were all there, and they each took big wins. So we're here with Carl from HD Zero at MultiGP International Open. So what do you think, Carl? How has it been going? We've seen a lot of pilots flying HD Zero. We got to see your uh, VRX for track directors. Uh, he's called Event VRX. Event VRX, yes. That was really cool to see. Do attend us for channel. I got to see firsthand the deinterlacing technology that improves analog signals. Analog was noticeably less wiggly and sharper. I could read the words on the gates more clearly. If this is the technology that will be inside the HD Zero goggle as well, it may be the most powerful goggle option for both analog and digital. It improved the analog image so much that on the split screen, I really had to stare a minute to figure out which ones were HD zero and which ones were analog. We're here at the micro course. I'm flying my HD zero tiny trainer. There's probably more HD zero pilots here than analog today on this track. So that's pretty cool to see. I've seen more HD Zero here than any other event that I've been to. Yes, HD Zero shines on the whoops and the races. I normally do use DJI for freestyle, yeah. but I did not want to bring a DJI quad here because of all the other pilots flying. So I had my HD Zero freestyle quad with the one watt v VTX that I could get some footage of the actual yeah. place. So it's nice if you're at an event like this, you probably don't want to plug in DJI anywhere. So you have a freestyle solution, you have racing solution now, and now the 1S Whoop yeah. solution. I have that yeah. on my bench, we're gonna have it get built up very soon. So what's what's coming next? I spend almost all my time on Goggle, so. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> right, that's very right. Yes, we're all very, it's very excited. Stressful. For me, it's something I must do. And uh, I really wish I can deliver it on time, maybe on October time frame. Yeah. But I mean, you know, everyone's having delays right now. So we realize we got Riot Q has been here. It's been cool. I've seen a lot of people racing on it. I've noticed on this track, I was glad I had HD zero because there's some little little pieces that you can't see on analog that's easier to crash. Yeah, HD zero right now still have a long way to go because it's not a complete solution. Right. The goggle module on the current analog goggle is a little bit heavy and right. is inconvenient. So that's why I say HD Zero goggle is, is essential. So that's the goggle thing. Working on it on my head. <laughs> it's full of goggles. Well, and he, he's working on that and he still made time to come out to this yeah. big event. I've met a few people at this event, but there's not a ton. So it means a lot to the community that Carl's coming to these events, he's interacting with the pilots, and that's why you see HD Zero making the updates and the changes so rapidly. Right. I think faster than any other company right now. So we have to say congratulations for that. Yeah, right. Yeah, thank you for, for saying this. But I do this because I don't know what to do. You guys tell me to do. <laughs> yeah, that's a choice. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's because, the truth. Yeah. But you actually listen. So we, oh, yeah, we yeah. say the same thing to every company, yeah. but most times they don't listen. So yeah. this is awesome. Yeah, the fact is, I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, awesome. I tell the truth. <laughs> we like yeah. that. We like, that's yeah. what we like about yeah. you, Carl. We yeah. like that. Stay tuned for those goggles coming out really right. soon. And you can get the VRXs now in most stores so it's a perfect time to start trying that hd zero if you haven't already all right guys we're here with ryan one of the biggest earliest testers of hd zero so like how did that come about that you got working with the team i was testing out the system around christmas time 2020. i saw on the rc groups elf had this mod to change the lens to the nice big glass lens and how, oh, right, how right. big of an improvement that was i did the same mod and then just did a little bit better job of it and painted it and then showed a video of how good it could look and it's kind of where my involvement started. He's been helping ever since. You're not an employee. Nope. It's just a relationship where you get early stuff to test and helps make the system better. If you're kind of like me on some of this stuff, you would go get all the stuff anyway. So if you can get it and help drive it, it's good for you. And then it helps everyone else too along yes. the way, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, exactly. I want to help make sure the product is really good so that when everyone else has got it, the big bugs are worked out. Yeah, yep, yep. seems like there's always still bugs with this system. I give feedback too on, on what products 
the guys would want out here. And Carl is really good at delivering those products. We go and test it and we, we find a lot of bucks. It's awesome to see like testers really willing to go that extra mile to make mm -hmm. everything better. FPV is so full of that because you have like the Betaflight developers, Express LRS, and now you guys helping to make HD Zero better, mm -hmm. faster. Yeah, because without that, it would just take way longer. And that's why the only reason that HT Zero can really innovate and keep iterating so quickly is because they do have a really strong team of testers. Exactly. So. You're exactly right. I think this is uh, really close to Express LRS in the way that it, the company interacts with the community. I mean, I know Express LRS is open source to begin with and then works right. with manufacturers. This is kind of a reverse, but it's the same kind of synergy. Well, and I think that's why Express LRS and HD Zero lately has gotten so much community support left. because they're seeing like how the other, you know, bigger companies seem to uh, react slower, don't listen to feedback. Yeah. You just don't get to know. You guys don't always get to know everything as fast as you want. And this project is just advancing like so quickly. Just a year Silver or two ago, it was kind of like, well, left. if you want to really work and be a tester like Ten, you, do it. Nine, but now eight, everything's pretty much safe. Seven, There's new six, products coming out like five, all the time, faster four, than any other company. Three. So. It's exciting times. And here we've seen, I've seen more people flying it than any other event I've been to so far. Yeah, yeah. By far. Yeah, and of course I'd love to see even more. Yeah. I think yeah, I, yeah. I made a prediction at uh, last year's I.O. that maybe we'd see 50% of the pilots running it. It's not, it's it not there not yet, but I will say on this tiny trainer track that we're standing on, I think there's more than 50% of the pilots yeah. flying it here. Depends on the race. Right, yeah. so it depends on the race. Yeah. Now, I heard you have a 65 millimeter. I got to show you that whoop tonight. <laughs> yeah. You coming to Sunny Whoop 10? I hope so. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll right. I'll check you it out. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs>